Peace be upon you all. Today we're going to be talking about the Entop Model 9 supercar, a revolutionary vehicle that was designed and developed in Afghanistan. The Entop supercar is a cutting edge, high performance vehicle that was designed with both style and functionality in mind, with its sleek aerodynamic body and advanced engineering. Now let's talk about the founder. Who founded this amazing car? The 30 year old Mohammad Reza Ahmadi is from Ghazni province of Afghanistan. He spent most of his time in Iran and always had a passion uh, to help his country. Living as a migrant in Iran, when he saw the flag of Afghanistan in a TV show, a spark of love appeared in his heart and he felt in love with the flag after knowing that it, had, <laughs> that it belonged to his own country. He basically understood that he had a nation, but it was torn by the filthy invaders and he had to do something for it. Now let's talk about time and money spent on Mata 9 supercar from Afghanistan. It took Intop almost five years to build and design this car. Uh, the team spent almost 50,000 in completing the car. Now let's talk about the design of it. Uh, the founder of Intop Mara 9, Mohammad Reza Ahmadi, watches Hollywood movies. And after watching movie Troy, he had got inspired by the design of the helmet of the Troy. So basically saying uh, the DNA of the design is taken from the helmet of the Troy, from movie Troy. And uh, people also call this car the country's equivalent to the Bugatti. <laughs> Where's your Bugatti? It's also based on a tubular frame chassis with Formula One style push road suspension and a mid engine configuration. In other words, the engine will sit behind the driver to keep its weight down. While Afghanistan may not be known as a hub for automotive innovation, uh, the team behind uh, the Entop is working to change that. Now let's talk about the logo and the branding. So we as Afghan people, we have the world's most degraded passport. We're the most canceled country in the world. And funny enough, the world's most invaded country by the tyrants. It took me eight years of hard work to get to the UK. And I understand how many stop signs I have seen in my life and how many stop signs my dad had seen while raising us. Uh, when Reza was explaining about the stop signs uh, he had seen in his life as an Afghan migrant in Iran, I could deeply feel this man, this gentleman. Reza explains that he had seen a lot of stop signs in his life and once he noticed that if you remove the stop label, you could enter anywhere, any country and across any borders. Behind the stop, there is Inter. That is how he got Intop as name of their brand. The logo has depicted a gate that has opened doors. I mean, what a story for a brand and its logo. I'm really excited for it, to be honest. Well, guess what? There is a bright economic future for Afghanistan. Of course, Afghanistan is not a good country to drive supercars because of its bad roads and of course, traffic. But who can stop Afghanistan uh, from being a supercar manufacturing country and a supercar exporter? If you want to know why did we make a supercar, here's the freaking answer. Why? Hey! Why? Why? Because we fucking can! Because we fucking can! And if we can, we do! افغانستان حداقل در چهار شهر افغانستان چهار انفجار صورت گرفته و با تمامی مجروحان به بیمارستان منتقل شدند. افغانستان با چالش های بزرگ اجتماعی و اقتصادی روبرو است. چهار سال است که خوشی در خانه ما نیست. از بد رفتاری شکنجه و تجاوز جنسی بر مهاجران افغانستان در شبکه های اجتماعی دست به دست می شوند در پی وقوع عملیات انتقالی در کابل پایت افغانستان دست کم پنجا و چهار تن کشته انگام پرپاس
because we fucking can and we want to do a lot of things. Now, let's talk about lithium in Afghanistan and the possibility of Afghanistan being the hub of electric supercars in the future. According to the US, <laughs> the invaders <laughs> geological survey, Afghanistan has an estimated 2.2 million metric tons of lithium reserves, which makes it one of the top 20 countries in the world in terms of lithium reserves. Uh, this data is estimated because the people behind the data did not have enough access to Afghanistan even in the period of false flag invasion of the country. They still don't know how much lithium we have, <laughs> fortunately. I'm very optimistic that the development of the companies like Entop and having peace and instability in Afghanistan, it can be a hub for the future of electric cars in Afghanistan. All we need is smart individuals like Elon Musk and other business tycoons to use this opportunity. First, understand it, that's why I'm making this video and to use this opportunity and invest. Hey, Elon, you can manufacture your Tesla in Afghanistan from now on. In conclusion, the Intop supercar is a revolutionary vehicle that combines impressive performance, innovative design, and a commitment to economic development in Afghanistan. We can't wait to see what the future holds for this exciting and unique car. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content.